Marcus Guest House ti ñil na len buntu bi ñun len fa am ak ñaari cabinet de salle yu yañña am nañ li nga xamanteni moy cabinet ak salle ñu ngi len amal AC ak fan salle bi nak lepp li ngeen soxla am na fa so fa yu noy ño fa nek tv bank fa cabinet bo dugga lal yu noy len len fa amal amal nañ len fa ac ak li nga xamne mom moy fan toilet yu set witch man nañ len fa kitchen microwave fridge and en room bu baax dama ne teranga day mut motax di yafatus guest house amal len extra kitchen e pour li ngeen bëgg togg mën ngeen ko togg si gas ku kabine kuy xalam di ci jaayu nak barke bi yaay bo rok amal ne li nga xamanteni moy ndox ak courant 24/7 bu len tiit bu len ragal bu len xof ndax amal ne li di cctv camera set ci len ñu ci fara fañé gannaaw garage ci bassé bi ka wur highway very clean every day amna cleaning service réchaud bi amul fed ya fatus guest house teranga aduna bëtt kon nak set ci len ñu If you want to receive monies from UK, Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland and the rest of the world, Supersonics Money Transfer has got you covered. With the largest payout network in the Gambia, you can now receive your monies anywhere you are from Khartoum to Koina with less hassle. Yes! You can receive monies from your family and friends in UK, Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland and the rest of the world with our safe, secure, fast and convenient service that offers you the largest selection of payout locations in the Gambia. Supersonics Money Transfer. We are currently in 34 African countries and counting, giving you quality money remittance services that are second to none. Visit the Google Play Store or the Apple Store today to download the Supersonics Money Transfer app and enjoy excellent money transfer services only with Supersonics. Fellow Gambians, residents and friends of the Gambia, time certainly flies, especially when there are lots of urgent matters to handle. Also soon, 2021 will end shortly, leaving us with mixed feelings. As we also in 2022, It is proper that we give thanks and praise to the Lord for his grace and bounties and by the same token pray for the departed souls and ask for their deliverance ladies and gentlemen like 2016 2021 will go down in the history of the Gambia as a dramatically significant year looking back the year began with the prolonged calamities of the coronavirus which affected all sectors and hindered the full implementation of our development programs although this is a global trend we thankfully appreciate that the gambia is not as badly it as many other countries including the most developed ones our determination as a people and focus as a 
government fortified our resilience and helped us to live with the pandemic. We thank God for this. Another incident of the year worth mentioning is the unfortunate July 7 windstorm that led to the loss of lives and left many people devastated, most notably in the North Bank region and the Combos. Obviously, therefore, 2021 was not all rosy. This notwithstanding, we register remarkable achievements across all sectors. Chiefly, the year provided opportunities to strengthen our bilateral and multilateral cooperation. The support and collaboration from our regional and international partners are significant and invaluable. Through such partnerships, we immensely strengthen our socio-economic and political advancement. Generally, government did exceedingly well during the year in the key areas of infrastructure development, energy generation, agriculture, governance, institutional strengthening, and provision of cars and in-kind support. In addition, we boosted the education and health sectors in an unprecedented fashion. On the other hand, the people stepped up political activity and participation and manifested their civic responsibilities and civil rights with passion. Our democracy is now vibrant and all citizens are at liberty to express themselves freely within the framework of the law. The government is proud to observe that there are no political prisoners in any Gambian prison, and no media house has closed down due to government interference. That over 1,000 election observers from different parts of the world, including former heads of state and high profile personalities, witnessed the last presidential election. Attest to the high degree of transparency in the electoral process. The election observer reports validate our democracy and transparency. They also confirm that with the voter turnout of about 90%, the vast majority of Gambian voters have renewed their confidence in my government. I remain indebted to all voters and stakeholders for the ordinary conduct of the election to get we have made the Gambia a model of democracy in Africa and the world over. The tax at hand is to sustain it for good. Such successes should motivate us to aim higher. The days ahead provide opportunities for all of us to explore as a nation and as family units and individuals. Fellow Gambians, officially today marks the end of our three-year National Development Plan 2018-2021. And it signals the end of our five-year 2017-2022 political transition phase. However, the hard work continues. We look forward to 2022 with great optimism and zeal. During the last four years, various reforms, policies, and strategies were successfully initiated. A few orders are nearing completion. I assure you that 
the government is now a better place for bigger successes. Forging ahead, we will intensively pursue an all-round national development drive marked by massive infrastructure development. We have funding for this. With it, we will address the key challenges undermining the provision of social services and work towards easing life and securing livelihoods, especially for residents in the rural areas. We reference to our national calendar. We look forward to the 2022 OIC summit with great optimism, hopeful that the relevant development projects will be completed on time. Among other events, the National Assembly elections and the subsequent local government elections are not far off. We pray that they go well. To adequately motivate public servants for improved performance and output, there is a new salary package proposed for implementation later in the year. All this make 2022 an order crucial year. Fellow Gambians, residents, and friends of the Gambia. Our achievements would not be possible without the support of my cabinet and the partnerships with the other arms of government, the legislature, and the judiciary. I thank them and all public institutions, government ministries, department agencies, and the private sector for their service and contribution to the nation. On a similar note, I applaud the international community and our partners for their cooperation and support to the nation. I recognize the role of the media and the civil society organization in guiding the government. We acknowledge that constructive criticism is essential in maintaining a democracy once the intention is honest. We equally appreciate our religious and community leaders for their untiring efforts to bring our communities together. To all political leaders and supporters, I reiterate the point that despite the divergent rules we opt to follow, we are bound by the common desire for national development, peace, and prosperity. Let us unite the people and avoid tearing the nation apart. Ladies and gentlemen, the high voter turnout in the December 4th election is not without high expectations from the electorate. Peace, stability, reconciliation, justice, and socioeconomic and political development are particularly of general concern. As a result, we must work together to fulfill these expectations. I plead that we renew our commitment to working as a nation for accelerated development, using vigorous processes and procedures to ensure that there is justice for all. Together, we can make 2022 a fulfilling year of progress, love, and reconciliation by embracing our cultural differences, celebrating our citizenship as Gambians, and making the most of our resources. I reassure everyone that my government will remain nationally inclusive, purely democratic, and practically development-oriented, but realistic. With the resources put at our disposal, the concerned needs, aspirations, and welfare of the people will dictate our agenda. We will not fail the people, and we ask that you remain by our side, trusting that working collectively, we will succeed way beyond expectations. With this reassurance, I wish you all a very happy and prosperous year. Long live the Republic 
of the Gambia. May God bless us all. I thank you for your kind attention. Physiotherapy and Rehabilitation Clinic is the first of its kind in the Ghana. We have inpatient service and outpatient service. And more admits patients and they have intensive rehabilitation. That means treatment three times a day for five days from Mondays to Friday and on Fridays. They go to their families to spend time with them to have family. Our patients come on regular appointments probably twice or three times in a week for treatment. We treat patients with arthritis, with back pain, stroke patients, fractures or after fracture operation, paralysis of all types and we do treat both young and old patients. And more physiotherapy gives quality physiotherapy treatments to Gambians because we are qualified physios from different parts of the world. If you want to receive monies from UK, Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland and the rest of the world, Supersonics Money Transfer has got you covered. With the largest payout network in the Gambia, you can now receive your monies anywhere you are from Kartong to Koina with less hassle. Yes! You can receive monies from your family and friends in UK, Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland and the rest of the world with our safe, secure, fast and convenient service that offers you the largest selection of payout locations in the Gambia. Supersonics Money Transfer. We are currently in 34 African countries and counting, giving you quality money remittance services that are second to none. Visit the Google Play Store or the Apple Store today to download the Supersonics Money Transfer app and enjoy excellent money transfer services only with Supersonics. Supersonics.